Hello. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. We were just chatting away and didn't even realize the time. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. How are you? I'm going to get the sale up on my phone. And I am sharing the link on my page. Well, thank you. Of course. I, I can't believe I forgot. All right. I have it up on my phone now. So cool. how's the weather there, Kat? It is 78 right now. So pretty good. What about you? 50 and very windy. I'm so sorry. It was so windy last night that it was shaking all the windows. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was pretty bad last night. And it's been raining all day, all last night. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. I bet it's the same uh, storm system that we got. When did you get it? Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. They're calling for rain for the next couple of days. Roads are going to be flooded again. Hi, Steve. Hello, Steve. Nice to see you. Happy Friday. I hope the, the roads don't flood, Sabrina. I can't talk. Yeah, they... I was on my way home earlier and they were pretty close to it in some areas horrible the wind is so bad right now so steve do you have any plans this weekend or did you have anything exciting this week how about you, know that? What are you doing this weekend? Probably not much. Uh, my nephew's band is playing, but since I have this, I probably am <laughs> staying home. Um, there's probably going to be a mosh pit where his band plays, so I probably don't need to be involved in that. Hey, Dee. How are you? It's good oh, to I'm, see you. I'm working with my wrong hand. Hi, Dee. How have you been? Yeah, it's been raining here too, Steve. What's the and weather sure. like? It? Oh, I'm sorry, Kat. How's the weather there, D? I hope it's a good busy D. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's exciting, Bonnie. Oh, Bonnie, you have to keep yeah. us posted. Yeah. Same here, D. It's about 50 here and, and really windy. It's a lot warmer here. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little jealous. Bonnie, I think if you adopt, it will help heal your heart. So I know nobody can replace Snoopy, but. Yeah. I agree. It's so hard to watch it, D. I agree. Yeah. I have to turn off the ASPCA and the Humane Society commercials. I can't. <laughs> no, I can't either. It's just too heartbreaking. We adopted a couple of um, goats when we were in Virginia before we moved here. 
and some of them were in such poor condition. It was so sad the way that they were abused. Well, the cow, one of the cows that we um, adopted here was just so abused and beaten. I remember you telling me about that. Mm -hmm. She was so standoffish and scared. It took us a while to, to get her to come around us. Poor thing. Humans really suck most of the time. <laughs> Yeah, I will never understand how somebody can hurt an animal. Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> Dee and I, we keep saying, saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I wonder if my notification went out. Um, I don't know. Having problems with that lately. I don't. I don't have it. I had to, to search for it to get it. What does he do, Bonnie? I've never heard of him. I'm going to write this. Now, I know there's not too many people in here. But if you're not subscribed to Dee, please make sure that you subscribe to her. Um, the Thrill of the Thrift, she has amazing sales and, and content. And if you're not subscribed to Kat, please um, make sure that you subscribe to her. I'm going to drop her channel link right now. Thank you, Sabrina. And Dee, you... You should be blue. Oh, you're not. I'm sorry. Do you want me to drop these? Yes, if you wouldn't mind. Sure. Thank you. I just turned her blue. Thanks, Kat. Thank you, Sabrina. So we are, um, we only brought about 15 items each today. So it won't be uh, as long as it usually is on Fridays. But hopefully you will find something interesting. And I have not been feeling well the last couple of days. So um, I have not finished as many um, invoices as I'd hoped. So in the next couple of days, if you are expecting an invoice, you should receive it. Unfortunately, I was not able to do any yesterday or today, but I will get them finished this weekend. Unless something terrible happens. <laughs> Oh, did Bonnie? Oh, this guy is in Valley of California. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, Bonnie, I wrote it down, so I'm going to check it out. Thanks, Dee. Um, Kat and I are kind of twins right now. We both have... <laughs> Injured right wrist. That's true, guys. I I got a few invoices done today, um, but the rest of them will get done over the weekend. Um, just in case you're waiting. Um, I, I'm probably going to email everyone after the sale, too, just to let you guys know. But I'm a couple days behind myself. Rick's been trying to help me. 
pack things up when he can, but he's got his full-time job and his part-time job too. Um, well, I fell about a month ago and fractured mine um, right on the side of the thumb. And so it just, it, they took another um, x-ray and said that it's, it's no longer a fracture, it's healed, but it's just not feeling much better. So they want me to do physical therapy or something. So I'll, I'll see how that goes. And then Kat fell just a couple of days ago and injured hers. I did. I have a, a sprain. Oh, I thought it was fractured the way that knot popped up on there. I know. Rick, Rick keeps telling me, are you sure it's not broken? I'm like, I don't think it's broken. Mm. You're right, D. But whenever you're doing something, I mean, it's it that pain just yeah, it's throbbing. Yeah, I've had trouble sleeping. I've been taking people's suggestions, and I have a little pillow that I put my hand on, and it's just super painful. Yeah. I thought it was better today and I did too much. So of course it's hurting again today or this afternoon. Oh, D. Were you going to have surgery on them or something, D? I couldn't remember. Are they jacked up from arthritis? Hi, Roxana. Hi, Roxy. I remember that too, D. Yeah. Did it help? Oh, no. That's horrible. Mm. Good. Glad it helped. Yeah. I had trigger thumb for a really short time, and they, they did injections um, in my thumb. And for me, that, that cured it, at least for now. <laughs> but it's terrible too. Well, I'll go over some rules um, while more people are coming in. Uh, most of you already know them, so I'll make it really quick. If you purchase an item, it does not include shipping. That is separate, but we do use pirate ship to get you the cheapest shipping rate possible. We don't um, add extra to that. What we are charged, we charge you. I ship from the state of Ohio. Cat ships from the state of Texas. We also use PayPal to send your invoices. Um, but you don't have to have a PayPal account to uh, pay that. Uh, you can be a guest and... and um, Pay as a guest. You can use a credit card, your bank account, Venmo, anything like that um, on PayPal. We um, sometimes we have a combination of offer ups and um, straight claims, which mm -hmm. is buy it nows, and we will differentiate those in the chat. Now we do ask if you are putting offers in on an item and you no longer want to offer that you just type out in the chat so we know to count that down. And we do that by G1, G2, going once, going twice, sold. Um, now, if an offer comes in while we're counting that down, we will stop because of lag time, speed time. Some people are slower than others. We want to make sure it's fair for everyone. So we will stop until there is only one person left putting an offer in. And then we will continue with that going once, going twice, sold. Once sold is put in, it's a done deal. We will not open that back up at that time. Yep. 
Did I miss anything, Kat? No, uh, we will do add-ons at the end, mm -hmm. um, but we always talk about that beforehand. So, Yep, and they are available um, for anyone that's made a purchase with us. And the reason we say that is because they're low-weight, low-cost items that you can just, we can toss in your already open box, um, and it won't add much shipping or no shipping at all. Um, so if you have made a purchase with us today or you already have made a purchase and we have not invoiced you yet, you can just add those small items to your box and it doesn't um, add too much weight or cost. Some of the add-ons are no cost at all. They range from zero to five dollars. And we'll go over that a little more at the end. I'm going to go first today. We believe that that cat went first the last time if our memory is correct which it may not be <laughs> <laughs> it's okay either way so i will go first oh wow roxana oh that's a big decision roxana yeah well i hope it heals really mm -hmm. quickly with no pain. Um, I'm going to do choice on this one, and it's going to be an offer up starting at $8. I have a glass bunch of strawberries for the first choice. <laughs> Lena. Hi. Hi, Lena. <laughs> <laughs> They are green. They are all glass. Now, I will tell you, when I purchased them, there was one strawberry missing. But there's still, I believe, nine on here. Nine plus the leaves. And they are all glass. They are textured with these little bumps. And the ones that are here are are in great condition. And these are about eight inches long, four inches wide. And then the second choice, and these are a little heavier, are glass grapes. And these are purple. Now, some of these areas are darker than others. Some areas are lighter. I did not count these, but there's quite a few on here. And then you've got the glass leaves. Love those. But there's more of the grapes, which make them uh, a little heavier. And I'll measure these for you as well. These are about seven and a half by six and a half wide. They're a little wider. So these are your choices starting at only $8. I'm sorry, that sunlight's kind of blowing them out a little. I noticed that too, GK. Hi, GK. How are you? Those would look so good in a kitchen window. I would. And if you take notice or in a little um, fruit dish, a fruit bowl, if mm -hmm. you take notice, both of these have this hook-like stem. So you could hang these. Cool. You could hang them from a window. You could hang them on a hook. They both have flat backs, so they would hang right up against a wall. But if there's no interest, we will pass on the fruit. And we're going to do three items at once before we move along. 
I have a left in hand, and I'm going to start this off at ten dollars. Or let's let's just start this off at nine, because I'm not sure if there's a petal that's broken on this. I don't believe it is, according to other pictures, but it feels a little different than the other ones. Doesn't necessarily feel sharp, but it's not as smooth. Beautiful. So right here at the bottom. And I have a couple of these, so I figured I could let one of them go. It is left in. Here's your stamp and your sticker. And this is about five and a half inches tall. And the flowers in it are just artificial flowers. They're not um, ceramic like the hand. <coughs> the fingernails are painted pink. Does flowers look great in that? Really mm -hmm. pretty. I have two of these identical. Mm -hmm. So I figured I would keep one and let one go. And the, the roses are pink. You've got two buds right here. And then you've got one right here that's not painted. And then you've got a little green, I'm, I'm sorry, gold at the bottom. And it stands about five and a half inches tall. But we will save this for the recap at the end. Now my next piece is going to start at 15. This is a wooden mask and it measures about 13 and three quarter inches tall. 13 and three quarter inches tall. So I'm going to show you back here and then I'll come in closer so you can see all the details. That face is amazing. I love it, it. And it is hand carved. You can see all the chisel marks on the back. Now you do have a piece of ribbon here to hang it. That is not it, but you could certainly change this out. Kind of looks like an elephant. It does look like an elephant. Right there. Mm -hmm. I think it might be. Hi, Sherry. How are you? Good Hello, you. Sherry. And then some gold lips. And all of this is kind of speckled. Like a white and black speckle and it's all textured. And you can feel all of that wood work. And of course, the eyes are open. So, it, <clears throat> excuse me, got a frog in my throat. It is a true mask, but we can pass on that and go back to Kat. Okay. See what goodies she has for us. I have a funny to start. Um, 
have this Japan Bulldog. Um, he is going to start at $9, Sabrina. Um, he is an ashtray. And he's doing his business on a fire hydrant. He is super cute. There is no um, like structural damage. There is a little sticker here that says he was a souvenir from Corpus Christi. And a little bit of that is missing. Um, I just think he is so freaking cute. Isn't it cute, Sherry? Of course, it made me think of Dana. She probably already has this one, but she loves her bulldog. <laughs> I just love how bad he is. As I have a bad dog sitting here in my lap. So he is two and a half inches tall and about three inches wide. There's a little bit of cold paint missing, but not very much. Oh. Okay, Dexter, where are you going? Lena, okay. time for nine. Thank you, Lena. He's so cute. <laughs> oh, and it is Stamp Japan here on the bottom. But we can count down for Miss Lena. Okay. Oops. It never fails. Whenever it's my turn, the train comes. So sorry. Sold to Lena for nine. Congratulations. Thank you, Miss Lena. Appreciate it so much. He's so cute. He's okay. adorable. Next up, I did show this um, last week, but I'm going to show it one more time. I have this amazing Fenton Bell. And this one is going to start at 15. Um, the color is Topaz. Yeah, do send it, Lena. I'm pretty sure I have it, but just in case. Um, it, it's this inverted strawberry pattern. It's a beautiful piece. It does not glow, but it's this gorgeous color. Toot, toot, Connie. I was wondering if you were here. It's such a good piece. It's got a really nice chime. Okay, Sabrina. So let me measure this. It is six and a half inches tall. So we have an amazing orchard um, about 15 minutes from here called Ham's Orchard, and they're really well known for their peaches, but they also have all sorts of fruit, strawberries, and they're opening in a couple weeks, and I cannot wait, because they're only open, um, you know, a couple months every year, but looking at these strawberries, I was like, oh, I can't wait to go. They have, like, bands there. They have a little farmer's market there. Um, it's a great great place to have so close by okay well I think we're going to pass on this for now and I'm going to go ahead and put in my starting bid oh no Sabrina it's okay oh thank you Bonnie I just not saw that okay my next item is going to start at ten dollars I have a flower frog this is actually um, an acrylic flower frog from the 60s. It has its original sticker here on the back. Look at this. It's amazing. This was 49 cents back in the day. It does not have a date on it. Um, patent, U.S. patented. Oh, thank you, Bonnie. We never remember to do that. Hold stem securely, allow stem removal and replacement in any position. <laughs> I totally see that, Bonnie. Now I'm never going to be able to unsee it. Um, so there is no damage. 
uh, to the plastic at all. It's in great shape. It's still white, like it hasn't aged any. <laughs> um, it is three and a half inches in diameter and two and a quarter inches tall. Oh, thanks, Roxanna. Sabrina and I were talking about flower frogs earlier, and I can't find them in my area, and I had totally forgotten about this one, so I figured I would go ahead and show it. It's the time of year to be showing them. Roxanna, did you see where people are picking our precious blue bonnets? They're protected here in the, the state of Texas because they're our state flower. But some people are coming to Texas and picking them. Okay, I think we're passing on this. I'll show you the back one more time because it's so cool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show a fourth one since Sabrina's not back yet. And like she mentioned, guys, it is going to be a shorter sale because of our injuries. Oh, wow, Roxy. So are you going or is it just loud at your house? Okay. Okay. My next item is going to start at 15. Let me put this in chat. Okay, I have this amazing jewelry box. It is vintage, and it has this adorable uh, picture on the, the two doors. So on one side, you have uh, this courting couple that's dancing. And then on this side, you have um, two that are sitting down, surrounded by other people. Um, I think Sabrina's trying to come back. <laughs> Connie. We both fell. But... I'm sorry about that, everyone. It's okay. Um, there is fabric trim around this. And here is the top. I believe this to be Italian. You know what? It's made in Japan. I did not notice the sticker on it until right now. Great story if we were arm wrestling, that's for sure. <laughs> We would have to have really long arms. That's Thank beautiful. You. Um, it does play music. It's probably going to play forever, but let's see if I can get it to go. I did wind it a little bit. Oh, thank you, Lena. I still have a giveaway that you won as well. Oh, does this have to sit down to play? Um, it has three drawers in here, and all three of them are lined with red velvet. And you know what? I have jewelry in here that I was going to show the other day. I was wondering where that went. Oh, and here it goes. I'm not sure what it is. Isn't it pretty, Lena? I just thought it was beautiful. All the, the fabric trim is in excellent condition. And this is fabric. It's like a silky fabric. But what I love the most are these little handles. Great. And it measures seven and a half inches tall. And um, about six and a half inches wide. Okay. And Sabrina, I showed four. Okay. No Just problem. Sabrina, we will cast on that. Bring it back at the recap. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Thank you. All right. Now I'm feel like I'm really washed out. Uh -oh. So let me know if how I'm looking to you guys. Looks good to me. 
You look okay. beautiful. I've got a horse. And if this is going to be a buy it now for $9, just a straight claim, buy it now. I do not know who the maker is. It does stand on its own. It has white tips on the ears. has a diamond right here, white diamond. Hi, beautiful apple. Has white on the bottom of the legs. No condition issues. Has white tip on the tail. Did you put that in for me, Kat? Just to buy it now for well, nine. Yeah, I'm sorry. It didn't go through. It just went through now. Oh, I think no problem. Thank you. Because of my finger, I didn't press hard enough. I'm so sorry. So the first person that puts nine in claims this item. And then it has some decoration right there. It's a beautiful horse. And it has a lot of detail as far as uh, it's very muscular. Here's what it looks like underneath. And I'll show you that it does stand on its own. And before we pass on this, I just going to take a quick measurement to give you an idea of its size. Almost 10 inches tall. And it is 11 inches from tail to the front. But we can pass on the horse. All right. Let's Dee see. would like it. Oh, thank you so much, Dee. Well, that okay. is your horse. Now, my next one is going to be a $10 start. on this fabulous fish. Now, this is tonal a style, but it is not marked tonal. -a. It actually has a sticker on the bottom that says Mexico L. No, the sticker is kind of messed up. That's great, D. Palomar. El Palma Palomar. It's got a bird in the center, and let me show you. It is a very sweet face. Hi, Nightmar. Hi, Nightmar. but it has no chips, no cracks, and I do not even see any crazing. But a sweet fish, and look at that face. And let me get a measurement of this. Hi, beautiful. It is just a hair over five inches long and just a hair past two inches tall. Thank you so much, Connie. 
and we can count this down for Connie. Congrats, Connie. It's going to go well with these ones. Now, I have um, choice for this item. It's going to start at 16 choice. Now, you know, on a lot of my, not every choice, but on a lot of my choice items, if you get both, you get a better deal. These do glow. And I didn't know that when I, I showed these last week and I didn't know that they glow. So I'm going to show them to you first and then I'll show you the glow. These are swans with no condition issues. Hey, Shanika. I'm glad Hi, you made Shanika. it. How are you? This is the one with her head and neck up. Very smooth, polished bottom. And she is 10 inches tall. This is the one with her head and neck slightly down, looking forward. They're both gorgeous. And this is the way that her tail is made, or his. Again, nice polished bottom. No chips or cracks. This swan is about seven and three quarters. And let me get my black light. Oh, it's right in front of me. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Joanne. Hi, oh, I need to turn some lights off. Let me do that real quick. These glow green. It's showing really well. Okay. Sometimes I have a problem showing that because I still have two overhead lights on. And that, that green goes all the way up. Let me show you the other one. This one is the same way. And it glows all the way up. So you do have choice between the two. I didn't either. That's why I didn't test them originally, Joanne. But I was checking something else and the flashlight, you know, kind of got a glimpse of them. And, and so I put them in my cabinet, my glowy cabinet, and they look great. Yeah, they're beautiful, Apple. I agree. So you have choice between the two at 16. But of course, if you were to take both, um, they would be less than that. But I don't see any interest. So you, you can certainly think about these. And um, we have a recap at the end. Or you can also email me.
All right. And that was my third. Okay, Sabrina, this next one is going to be um, a starting bid of $9. Okay. I picked this up at a local festival, guys. Um, this is a red agate, and it this piece was made by a local artist here. Um, it is not sterling. It is probably stainless. I, I don't think they put it on here. Um, but it tells you all the properties of red agate. It's energizing and protective, enhances courage, promotes vitality, fosters stability, encourages self-confidence and grounding. Um, it is, I just added on here, it is a size seven. I just thought it was so pretty. I love the lines, the natural variations of this stone. I love this shape ring as well. I have a few like this in my collection. Yeah, it's beautiful. Isn't it cool? Hopefully it's showing up okay. <laughs> I know. I found a lot of it last weekend. And guys, I do apologize, but because of my wrist, I'm going to be showing a lot of jewelry today. Um, I'm scared to hold anything that I might break or is heavy. So you're going to be seeing a lot of jewelry today. I know it would, wouldn't it? <laughs> I can put this. What size did you say that was? It's a size seven. It does look yummy. It, you know what? It looks like a sunset to me as well. But I also see candy. <laughs> yes, I see the sunset. Mm-hmm. It's a great ring, but I think we'll pass on this one for now. We'll come back to it at the end. I know, I know, Apple. I know. Okay, um, you know what, Brie? You can leave that up. Um, actually, I'm sorry. These are going to start at eight, and I can't find my little earring holder, but I have these gorgeous glass earrings. I got these from a different um, local artist. And these are really, really pretty. I agree. I think these are probably Millifiori. I, I can't quite tell 100%. But she is one of the artists here that um, repurposes a lot of things. So I think these were probably maybe even on a necklace or another pair of earrings that she put them on modern um, fish hook earrings. I just thought they were super pretty and perfect for spring. So you've got all these gorgeous spring colors. I know, Shanika. <laughs> <laughs> and they dangle. Let me see here. Let's see how far. About one and a half inches. I don't know where I put my little holder. I really need it today. They're go. beautiful. Thank you. Okay. We will pass on these. And then for my third item, um, I want to show, I'm going to show this. Totally different. This is going to start at $10, Brie. I have this amazing mid-century inspired bookend. Um, he was from Pier 1. I've got to grab something, Kat. I'll be right back. Okay. Isn't he cool? Um, he, I honestly think he is wood with a metal base. painted, you know, to look bronzy or brassy. Hi, Joyce. Isn't he handsome? Look at that stash. He is super, super cool. Um, he does still have the original price sticker on the bottom. 
Um, he was 29. I know he does look like a giant chess piece. I just thought there was something about him that was so cool. So he is eight and a half inches tall. And he does have a spot here. I think it'd be cool to put a sphere on it. And I happen to have one right here. That or a candle. Or a candle. Yeah. Yeah. Do either one. But yeah, there's just something about him. The stash is my favorite. Ooh, a little plant. There you go. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jessica. But yeah, you could put a flameless pillar candle up here. I mean, there's so many things you could do with this guy. But I think he's fantastic. He is handsome. And there's no damage on him anywhere. Really cool piece. Well, we will go back to Sabrina. See what okay. she has next. Hi, Joyce. All right. I sat some items right down on my paper. So let me see. For a $7 start, and this should be more, but it has some staining. So I'm just going to do it at $7. This is yarn. It just, it's not in a frame, so it, and this is old. Um, it was put on this board with staples. And the staples, you can tell, are really old. Is it cruel? It is cruel. Pretty. But I think that it is really, really pretty. And put in a, putting it in a frame and putting it on the wall, I think will make this look so much better um, than how it looks now. And I'm these go so high, but it does have some staining and it does have a couple of stitches out right here at the bottom where the stems were which is a very easy fix all the flowers are in perfect condition it's just the stems here or have has lost some yarn the lines are still there so it'd be easy to repair that let me measure this so I've started it really low at only $7. It is about seven by almost five and a half. Pansies, I think. That's what it looks like to me. Mm -hmm. I, I've had this for a while and I was going to frame it and put it in the spare bedroom. And I have so many in there. I just don't know where to put it. But we can pass on this. My next one is going to be a $14 start. I'm sorry, a $12 start. And I'm going to measure it before I even show you. Six and a half by five. And this is all dried flowers. Yeah, they are very pretty, Sherry. This is so. all dried flowers, even the stem. And it's a beautiful bouquet. Even the stems are real stems. And the background is some craft paper. I'm not sure exactly what kind of, it has, it looks like it has um, like 
cotton or something running through it. It's not just your regular craft paper. But the, yeah, they have gold, sure. the flowers are very vibrant. I mean, the colors are just so great in this. You've got your yellow, blue, purple, reds, and then some creams. And it does have a kickstand back here. Or you can you can always put um one of the, the clips up here so that it can be hung, which is what I was going to do. But we can pass on this one. Oh, bye, Jess. Thanks for coming in. Oh, bye, Jessica. And then my last picture Uh, let me see. This is an $8 start. And this one's your funny one. This is 10 and a half by eight and a half. And I need to wipe this one down. Oh, you're frozen, Sabrina. Thank you, Apple. Am I still frozen? Yep. We can hear you, but you're frozen. Okay. Let me go out and I'll come right back in. Okay. Lena, <laughs> you are funny. I don't even like playing golf. <laughs> All the, the men in my family do, but. Brick doesn't either. She's back. How am I now? Now we can't see anything. What? What is going on? I don't know. Let me let me switch my internet over. Maybe okay. that's the problem. Hi, Warren. Well, Lena, are you watching it? I know, peekaboo. <laughs> it's the ghost of Sabrina. Good to see you, Mr. Warren. Ooh, now you're really blurry. Okay, one more time. Okay. Blurry. Um, guys, okay. can you see her well enough? I I can fix it. Let me pull you over and I'll fix it. Okay. Okay. Hold. Give me just a minute or two. Okay. No worries. Here, I'll go ahead and. Um... Yeah, you just do a couple. Okay. Okay, guys. This one has to start at thirty. I had a few of these. This is the last one I have left. Um, I have this amazing Japan ashtray. It is this elephant family. It is in light new condition. There is no chips, no scratches, no paint loss. They are still connected by their metal chain. Just absolutely amazing. I love the middle here. It looks like a pool of water. It does have its sticker. This is Westpac, Japan. It's an, an amazing piece. Six babies in the mama or dad. 
they all have their trunks up. There's nothing wrong with a trunk down, though, in my opinion. But they would be extra good luck for you. Look at this, guys. Look at the everything about this is so cute. Hey, Kaz. How's it going? So cute. I'll show you the side a little bit better. Look at that face. I love their ears. I love their trunks. I love everything about these. I wish I could go lower on this, guys, but I, I can't, unfortunately. I know the glaze is just beautiful. I mean, sometimes you'll find the, and I have a few in my collection, they're missing a chain or they're missing a baby or, you know, there's a chip. Um, so for me to find these in such good condition was just amazing. Okay. I think we're going to pass on these for now. Okay. Let me show some jewelry. I've got another pair of earrings, and these are going to start at eight. You're eating a Snickers. Nice. Ooh, good peanut. You are so smart, Apple. Okay. Super, super cool. These, uh, like I said, these start at eight. And they are... Like a brass tone earring, they do move. They've got great movement to them. They're probably from India. Big. I love these. They are, I just got them over the weekend too. So these haven't, I know, I'm sorry, Apple, we have the same taste in jewelry. Three inches drop. They look Indian, they look medieval. They're just really cool. They're not marked anywhere, um, but I believe that they are vintage. They feel that way. Here is the back. They're not as heavy as they look. They probably look like super heavy, but they're not that heavy. Just to give you an idea. They're good for going out or staying at home. Or with jeans and a t-shirt. Yeah, they do look heavy, don't they, Cass? But they're not. Okay, Brie, and I showed two. Okay. So we can go back to you, honey. It looks good from what I can see. Okay, great. All right, let me know. That should have fixed it. Um, so this starts at eight. It is Let's Potty, Let the Good Times Roll. And it's these cats in the restroom, and they are just tearing up the place with the toilet tissue. <laughs> it's just so fun. And on the back, um, it says Fiji Giftware, San Diego. And on the very bottom, it says Let's Potty Illustration by Denise Hilton Buttonen. 1984 Fiji giftware. Trying to take the glare off of it. This is from 1984. And it is in its original frame. And it's just so cute, so fun. I 
There's a total of three cats and the paper that they are in is pink. But if there's no interest in that, we will pass. And I have a blue and white scarf. This is going to um, be a buy it now at eight. So we will just leave that up there. Just know it's not a starting bid. It's a buy it now. So the first person that puts eight in will claim this. This is a larger scarf. It is new with tags by Igloos, I-G-L-O-O-S, and it's a shawl and a wrap, multiple ways to wear. And this is what it looks like. It's a large one. This baby blue and white, it's really pretty, really movable and fluffy, really soft. It has a light fringe. Oh, thanks for putting that in, Kat. And it's, it's a good size. They show eight different ways to wear it on the package. Pretty. Yeah, it's really pretty. But we will pass on that. And let me see what my next item is. Oh. I have an address book, and this is choice because I have two different ones, and they're going to start at $6. Let me make sure nothing's going to fall here. The first one is Elvis Presley. Neither one of them has been written in. So this is Elvis Presley. Um, Bree, you're frozen. Am I frozen again? Yes, thank you, Sherry. How about now? You're still frozen. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on. I thought I fixed it. At least you're not making an ugly face. <laughs> <Pretty. laughs> okay, give me just a second. Okay. So what's everybody doing this weekend? We asked at the beginning, but more people have come in. I know what Apple's doing. I know what Lena's doing. She's watching the Masters. Um, you're a little blurry. Okay, let's see if it if it clears up. Okay. No, nah, whatever, Apple. Sabrina couldn't. What's that? Make an ugly face if you tried. Is it clearing up or is it still? really blurry it's it's a little blurry guys what do you think i don't i usually don't have problem i don't know what's going on it actually looks better on my phone well let me try to get through this and this will be my last item and we'll just finish up yours oh no you don't have to do that sherry yeah. said it's good. Okay. Okay. So here's the Elvis. Here's the back. And on the inside, this one's from 2005. 
on the inside, it's got a lot of pictures of Elvis. So good. Each um, letter, like I said, neither one of them has been written in, but each letter has a different picture of Elvis. And it has like your emergency contacts. The whole book is pictures of Elvis. And in the back is where you have more information that you can add. Oh, Sherry said that they have storms and they're heading your way, Sabrina. Yeah, it, it's all, they're already here. So that might be um, what the problem is. And then the second choice is this one with all the bird houses and flowers and butterflies. This one is larger. You have a pouch here where you can put something. You have your address book here. And then on this pouch, you can pull this open. And it has an ink pen and a memo pouch. Cute. And I think it has, no, it does not have a magnet on it. So those are your two choices to choose from for $6 each. I do not know the date of the second choice. <laughs> Such a good song, Linda. I know. All right, let's go back to Kat and she can finish showing her items. Oh, poor Bree. I, I only have to mind at all. I think I only have three or four more. Um, okay. These are going to be starting at 12. Uh, choice. Sorry, Sabrina. Um, I have three different bracelets that were made by a local artist. And they're all different stones. So I picked these stones out and they also have white lava beads as well. Um, this first one is Expression Jasper, which I think is just beautiful. And like that ring, um, she does put a sticker on here telling you what it is for. This is nurture, protection, tranquility, um, but these stones are beautiful, uh, blue and brown. Then there's a yellow turquoise. And these are all, I like that they're half and half too. Mm -hmm. um, they're all stretch. And oh, she didn't put the properties of yellow turquoise. So I'm not quite sure. I've and never heard of yellow turquoise. I've heard of it. This may be the first time I've actually had it though. Um, let me show it up a little bit closer. Look at all the different variations of it. It's really cool. Some have black, some look, you know, just yellow, some look yellow and green. And then the third one is opal, which I love. Yeah. Yeah, it's my current favorite is opal. And this is so pretty. Got a great shine to it. Um, but if you're interested, just put 12 in the chat. And you can choose between a one of these. They're so pretty. And each of them have, oh, you know what? The opal has like a silver bead separating the lava bead um, from the stone. But these have gold. Yeah. I guess so. That one's pretty. What was that one? This one is Impression Jasper. Well, that one's pretty too. I know. I picked my three favorites. She had a few, but I think we'll pass on these. 
And then this is going to start at eight. I love this. This is a ceramic jar. Um, this is handmade from Haiti. And it's got this amazing pineapple with a heart in the design here. Um, the top of the jar also has a pineapple. Thanks, Sabrina. Mm -hmm. And it does tell you, in case you wondered, health. <laughs> pineapple symbolizes health. Um, it also is signed here on the bottom by the artist. I just think this is so cute. Oh, good. Four inches tall and about three inches wide. There's so many things you could do with this. You could put it in your bathroom, put cotton balls in it, use it for something in your kitchen. I love the heart. That's a great piece. Oh, and the inside is is perfect as well. Yeah, pineapples are fun. They are. I'm not sure what this little design is on the side, but it's cool. Okay. Then I had this necklace. And Brie, this one is 24. This is um, sterling silver. And it's got... Um, this amazing pendant on it. So it's very Victorian looking. Um, it looks like a locket, but it does not open. Oh, that's beautiful. It's pretty. It's got this beautiful, almost like a smoky quartz colored rhinestone here in the center. Um, it is glass. It could be CZ. I'm not 100% sure. And then around it, you have some smaller rhinestones. Let me get this one stand here. Okay. Ah, that is beautiful. I know, isn't it pretty? So Victorian. Oh, it looks like a door knocker. I totally see that now too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the chain is Mark 925. It probably won't show up, but it is here on the tag. Where, where's my hand? Right in here. And the pendant itself is two inches. Gorge, I know. So on the chain, it is about ten and a half inch drop. It's about a 21 inch necklace. Really pretty. Okay, I think we're passing on that. It's so quiet. I can't believe no one grabbed that. That's gorgeous. Thank you. Okay, then my last item, I think. How many have I shown? Hold on, guys. I haven't been writing these last few ones down. Let me make sure. You're fine. Just show as many as you'd like. Okay. Oh, the necklace, the bracelets. There we go. Okay, I have three more left. Okay, I have this bag, and this one we can just do a bite now for eight dollars, Bree. Okay. So this, this is modern, but guys, it is made to look like a crocheted vintage bag. Um, it's brand new. It still has its tag on it. It's made by Wild Fable. And it was $25. It's so cute. It's in perfect condition. It, it even looks like a shirt. It's so oh, cute. It I know. It does look like a shirt. Here's the inside. It still has its paper in here. Um, you know, to keep it shaped. Let me keep that in there. Um, so it's got like a cottony uh, lining. It's 
a great purse. It's a little bag. There's so many things you can do with this. Let's see. It just says Origin India. That's cool. But it's got these great summer colors. Be a fun little going out bag or mm -hmm. you could put sewing items in this. You could put all sorts of stuff. Super cute. Or your swimsuit. Yeah, it may have been made for a swimsuit. I wonder if it was. It doesn't say that, but it could have been. Thank yeah, you. it's super cute. Yeah, I thought it was cute too. Then I have this. Now, this is a newer piece as well. Um, this is going to start at seven, or just do a bite now, seven, Brie. Okay. I have this wood spinner, and um, it is one that you make and paint yourself. I thought this would be so cute if you have your grandkids or your kids over. Um, but it, ha it doesn't have the paint, but it's got a hook. Um, and then, of course, the parts for the spinner. Positive spin. Deassemble to paint, stain, or decorate. Then reassemble to create one-of-a-kind shapes. That is so cool. Isn't it cool? You know what? This came from Target in 2020. It has an S hook with it. It doesn't say. Oh, okay. So it's six by 12 and a half inches when assembled. It says here at the bottom. Yeah, it's a I great mean, project. Absolutely. Or if, if you want to keep it yourself and you're creative, I think this would be a lot of fun. Pass on that. And then I just have a couple of pieces of jewelry left, I think, guys. Where did they go? My feather is blocking everything. Where's mm -hmm. Angela? She should be here. She's probably working. Hi, Val. Okay. Hi, Val. Okay, this is going to start at 18, Brie. Um, I have the sterling silver and cubic zirconia tennis bracelet. Oops. Never mind. Let me change that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is adjustable. It has this pull right here, so it should fit everyone. Um, and it's just so pretty. So each of the um, CZs is Whoops, I have it backwards. Pronged and faceted. I'm going to put it on my creepy hand. So you can see it better. I love those type that's adjustable like that. I, I have one similar and I love it. Do you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. These are great if you wear multiple bracelets as well. These are so versatile. Here we go. And it has been tested. I just want to throw that out there. I think most of you know that I test, but just in case. It's very dainty and elegant. I like it. Oh, yeah, they do make good anklets as well. Mm -hmm. You know what? You could use this as an anklet. If you wanted to, because of this. <laughs> Poor Apple. It's bling-tastic. Okay. Then my last item is going to be um, this vintage Jiminy Cricket pin. And he's going to um, buy it now of eight. Bree is fine. I don't know if we have any Disney people here, but he's so cute. 
Ooh, he's not showing very well. He is mm, one and a half, it feels about. I know, and he's cute. So he's got a little pin back here. Um, super, super cute. Oh, he's darling. Look at his face. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> He's so fun. Mm hmm I love Jiminy Cricket. Can you show sure. the back again? Yeah, of course, Sherry. Do you know what yeah. that says? Hi, Randy. Hi, Randy. It says Disney made in China. <laughs> Sherry, do you need to see it better? Let me try to. Sherry, I'm sure that I'm not showing it very well. Well, I'll Sherry, you so got it, Miss Sherry. Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. And that was that was it for me. Okay. So, guys, poor Sabrina <laughs> is having issues with her internet because of storms. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, does anyone need to see a recap of Kat's items? Hi, Jane. Hi, Jane. <laughs> I took your advice, Jane. Little pillow. Val would like to see a recap. Okay, Val. Poor Sabrina. Val, if you want to go back and watch Sabrina at the beginning, you should. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. I I will um yeah, if you can go back and watch the beginning, you can see some of mine, but you my internet's acting up right now. Oh, you, she, you look clear now, according to Apple. Oh, okay. Do you want to? Do you want to go back? What do you want to do? I'll just do a recap after you. Okay. Thank you, Apple. Okay, so this is a topaz yellow Fenton Bell. This is fifteen dollars, number two. It's beautiful. It has a strawberry pattern on it. They're saying that you look good now. Okay. okay. Thanks, everyone. Then I have um, this vintage amazing flower frog. This is $10, number three. Thanks, Apple. Um, it has its original sticker on the back. Ten dollars, number three for this. It's it's acrylic. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a great one. Oh, did I not put that on? No. Um, Joanne, it is fifteen. Sorry about that, guys. We Sabrina's getting rid of that. Yeah, just give me one second. It's fifteen dollars, uh, Joanne. Number two. Jewelry box. Jewelry box. Okay. Where is it? Oh, it's here. It does sound pretty. Um, I have the amazing elephant ashtray. Uh, this is $30, number 10. Oh, thank you, Joanne. I appreciate it so much. You got it. It's beautiful. Um, this one is $30, number 10. It's in perfect condition. 
Um, it's an elephant family ashtray and it still has the chain. It's got all the babies intact. Um, it is made by Westpac. Oh, cool, Jane. Thanks for mentioning that. This is just so freaking cute. I can't remember if I have it, Joanne. So if you don't mind, just in case, I would appreciate it. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say $30 number 10? Okay. Let me grab the jewelry box. I have this amazing vintage um, jewelry box. It is made in Japan, but it looks Italian. It is musical. And this one is $15, number four. Thanks so much, Joanne. Um, it opens up to three different compartments in here. It's got fabric. It's a great piece. Uh, $15. And it's number musical. Four. It is musical. I can make it play again. Maybe. Last time it didn't want to play until I had it down. So, but it does work, I promise. Okay. Then I have the. Hi, cheese. Mike. Mike put in number four. Oh, thank you, Mike. Hello. Happy to see you, Mike. Jewelry box. It's a great jewelry box. You're at work. I'm sorry. Hopefully, hopefully you don't have to work all weekend. Okay. This is ten dollars. Number six. Um, this is a bookend from Pier One. It's this amazing king. Pretty cool. Looks like oh, isn't he cool? He was originally thirty. Oh, I'm sorry, Apple. Um, ten dollars number six. Okay. I think the rest is jewelry, but I will go ahead and show it. Oh, you're a weekender. Okay. I didn't know that. Um, I have the size seven agate ring. This is a red agate. This was handmade by an artist local to me. And this is $9, number five. Then I have these amazing glass earrings that were repurposed. Um, these are $8, number seven. Really pretty. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay. I have oh these. I just showed these, I feel like. Um, so these were $12 uh, for choice. And they are natural stone and lava bead net, uh, bracelets. I have yellow turquoise. I have uh, impression jasper, which is so pretty. And then white opal. And like Apple said, they're half and half. So they're half lava bead and half stone. Um, what else do I have? Oh, the jar. Um, I have this Haitian jar. This was $8, um, number 13. It is signed on the bottom. And it is ceramic. Really, really cool. You have pineapples on both sides and then on the top. I think that may be it. I think that's it, Bree. Okay, you want to show your add-ons? Oh, I can show my add-ons, sure. Okay, guys. So if you have an open box or if you purchase something today, um, you can purchase an add-on from me. Um, this first one is going to be this wooden bear. He's so cute. He's hand painted. Um, he is $3, number one. 
little jointed, handmade, I would assume, hand painted. Little shelf sitter, uh, $3, number one. Cute. He is cute. Then I have this. Um, it's not terribly heavy, so I decided to go ahead and show it as an add-on. Uh, this is $4, number two. I have shown this before. This is a metal um, candle holder. It opens in the back for you to put a little candle in. This is cute kitty. I love that, that lights up with all those holes. It does. Um, $4, number two. If anybody wants him. I love these whiskers. Stash cat. <laughs> oh, Jane, you're so sweet. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Your friendship is all I need. Jane, you're so sweet. She really is. Um, I have a couple more. Um, I have this silver and um, gold tone dolphin bracelet um this is just two dollars number three this could be a man's bracelet it's kind of big let me measure it it is nine inches so it is kind of on the larger side um but it's cute i think it's vintage Looks like the 80s to me. Okay. Then I have this modern bracelet, and this is $3. Um, what number am I on? Number four. It has a toggle closure here, but it has rhinestones and this really pretty enamel. Very spring. And then I have a giveaway. I have this pearl pendant. I think it's really pretty. <laughs> Jane. <laughs> and if anyone is interested in this giveaway, just type in pearl. And if there's more than one of you, then we will do a drawing. I'm not sure if you can see it very well. Um, but it has little rhinestones at the top, gold tone. It's really cute. Just type in pearl and it can go in your box for free. I see it has. Hi, okay. Thomas. Kaz, I don't think you have a box, but that's okay. I can save it until you have one. Appreciate it. And that's it for me, Brie. What's up, Tom? Oh, Sherry. Oh, my Sherry. Girl. Okay. You are so funny, Tom. Okay. I'm going to do a drawing. Um, Kaz will be number one. It is Art Deco looking. And Sherry will be number two. I'm going to put them in here. I love this cup or this creamer sugar. It's so pretty. Okay. Number two. And that would be Sherry. Congratulations. Okay. Okay, and that is it for me. All right, let me move myself over and see how I look. Let me know. Okay. You're welcome, Sherry. How do I look, everyone? Am I blurry? In StreamYard, you're blurry. Um, let me see. Am I okay to show something? 
I'll show something and just let me know. Okay. They say fine. Okay. Interesting. So I have this left in hand. It is stamped and stickered on the bottom. Um, it is five and a half inches tall, $8 number one. Now there, I'm not sure if this flower petal right here is chipped or if that's the way it's supposed to be. Her nails are painted pink. This is $8 number one. Uh, the next item is choice. It is $8 as well. You have, and I don't have some of my lights on, so I apologize, but these are glass, a cluster of glass grapes and leaves for $8, number two. or glass strawberries and leaves, $8 number two. Now keep in mind for the strawberries, when I got it, it was missing a strawberry here in the back, but there's still nine strawberries and then the cluster of grapes. And they're each $8 number two. Um, I have the cruel vow, uh, number two. Did you want the grapes, the strawberries, or both? Just let me know. This is stained, and it's missing a couple of, um, of your um, pieces of yarn right here at the bottom for the stems. But it is only... $7, number six. $7, number six. The bathroom picture with the cats. This is from 1984, Fiji Giftware. <clears throat> and it says, let's potty. And at the bottom it says, let the good times roll. All right, thank you so much, Val. I'll put you down for it. And it's these three kitties tearing up the tissue paper in the bathroom. And this is $8, number eight. $8, number eight. I'm gonna put down Val real quick. I will, Jane. I always do. You're the best. The dried flower pitcher. This is beautiful. Even the stems are real. The colors are still very vibrant. This is $12, number nine. $12, number nine. They're all dried flowers. The blue scarf, still, it's new, still in its packaging. And it's white and blue, very soft. It is $8, number 10. I will, Thomas. The glowy swans. These are glass swans, no condition issues. They are $16 each. They do glow green. Um, if you buy both, it is cheaper, but they are number 11. Number 11 for those.
um, I didn't show this before, but I'll show it really quick. This is a green swan for your countertop or your bathroom sink. And it's um, to roll a hand towel up and put it right here. These are really cute, really um, vintage. And this is only $5, number 12. No condition issues. $5, number 12. I have the two address books. It is a great color. Yeah. This one is of Elvis. It's never been written in. It's from 2005. And it's full of his pictures. It is six dollars number 13. Bye Jane. Bye Jane. Have a good summer. Bye Angela. Or the one that's never been written in full of butterflies, flowers, and bird houses. And you also get this second compartment in here that has a pen and a notepad. This one's larger. Again, $6, number 13. And I will, um, I will show some of my add-ons. I have this elephant keychain. It's plastic. It is a keychain. And it is $1, number 23. $1, number 23. I have this plastic elephant pencil sharpener. It is one dollar twenty-five. Number twenty-five. Val would like twenty-three. Thank you, Val. Hi, Wanda Moore, and she would like twenty-five. Hi, Wanda. Thank you, Val. All right, and I have a couple more. I have this pink American Eagle little change purse. It's also got the hook so you can attach it to something. It's white and pink polka dots. Very clean, no condition issues. This is one dollar number twenty seven. One dollar number twenty seven. Angela. <laughs> I have this black New York and Company. Same thing, one dollar, number 28. And then I have these two plastic elephants are gonna go together. They are zero dollars. They are a giveaway, number 24. So you get both of these free for number 24. Or this little ID and change coin purse. I see you Val, thank you so much. This has a little compartment in here. 
and then your little compartment for ID or cards. Um, this is zero dollars, number 29. Zero dollars, number 29. And that's all of mine. So I'm going to pull Kat back up. Um, so we're both up and I'm going to drop her link again. I see you, Kaz. I'll put you down for that. Thank you so much. Say hi to Tom, Miss Dexter. Now you have to be down. Congrats, Kaz and Val. Thanks for being here, guys. We are sorry that um, it was such a, a weird sale. <laughs> yes, I'm so sorry. Both I have injuries and I usually don't have internet problems. I have a backup internet just for that so that I don't have problems, but I had them today. So I, I do apologize. Um, you, have that you can't help it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do have a sale on my channel Sunday at 9 PM for the chatty kitties. And that's with Leanne and uh, Kathy. So hope to see you there. And then you have a sale Monday, right, Kat? I do at 8 Eastern. I'm sorry. Yeah. Wait. 6 Eastern. Six oh, Eastern. my goodness. Yeah. Thank you, Brie. <laughs> <laughs> it's only the second time I'm doing it on Monday, so I apologize, guys. Thanks, Apple. Kaz, still waiting on your box. What do you mean? Oh, stay safe, Joanne. Um, okay, guys. So we want to thank you again and hope to see you Sunday and Monday. Bye, guys. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you, Val. Thank you.